hey beautiful people it's no news at all that nurses in the united kingdom are going to go through what we call the industrial nurses strike action the reason is not far fetched as we all know this year nurses in the nhs are going to be receiving a pay rise but nobody absolutely nobody is happy with the pay rise if you belong to any of the union which have always encouraged every one of us to join like the unison or the rocn they are clamoring for a strike and guys the pay the agenda for pay change this year is just so small oh my god it's really small 4.5 percent rise is just too small for what we nurses go through we do so much to just receive 4.5 percent rise I was privileged to be in the UK during the heartbreak of the COVID. We had the nurses, we are all working, all the healthcare professionals, we are all on their feet. And every time we get a clap, every time we get a clap, but this is really, really not fair on us. 4.5% rise, according to analysts, is equivalent to a 79 pounds increase per month with a rising cost of living. In the United Kingdom this is not enough at all this is really 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 very small because the inflation in the United Kingdom has risen according to analysts they said it has eat 9.4 percent and would even eat 12 percent in October prices of things generally have become increasingly expensive for instance energy bill is rising water bill is rising everything generally is massively rising the cost of living crisis is hitting nursing staff hard and tirelessly to protect the public yet are being pushed to the brink to afford to live my basic wages would never be enough to cover all our outgoings. I have to do extra shifts just to be able to afford to live. It is the largest profession in healthcare, playing a critical role in patient safety. But we're missing tens of thousands of nurses. Currently, I'm contemplating taking on a second job or some extra shifts at the weekends to generate some more income. Paying nursing staff fairly is the right thing to do for the like you have seen on your screen the cost of living like we've said is eating losses so hard in the united kingdom every single thing has gone up guys i really mean it if you go to the supermarket to do your shopping everything has added like there was a time i could go to aldi i could go to tesco's i could go to any of the supermarkets and by the time i shop 40 pounds my trolley is filled up guys now it is not the case a lot of nurses can no longer depend on their basic pay alone to feed their family shopping has increased energy bills are skyrocket for instance i've even received from my energy supplier that they are increasing my energy bill to as far as 277 pounds per month which i've argued and i've said i'm not paying because i've been paying 80 pounds and now it's skyrocketing that's to tell you how bad it is now that's to tell you how nurses are struggling and we're giving so much and i mean it we're giving so much nurses in the united kingdom giving so much before now in the united kingdom everything was cheap now it's so expensive and as a nurse in the nhs i've had to look after sometimes 11 patients 11 demanding patients having to meet everybody's need and by the time i'm going home i am mentally exhausted i'm emotionally exhausted there is so much massive shortage of staff guys let's analyze this critically every single year more than ten thousand international nurses come into the united kingdom they take their oski exam and yet there is still massive staff shortage the reason is not for fish the reason is simply because when they get their pain and they begin to see that compared to the workload the pay is 
peanuts, they begin to source for livelihood in other countries like Canada, in other countries like um, America, in other countries like Australia, in other countries like Ireland, in other countries like New Zealand, and they begin to go to make a living. Why? Because the pay is really, 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 really very short. Nurses work tirelessly to protect the public. We are the largest profession in the healthcare system, but yet they are just giving us 4.5% pay rise compared to our services. I know a lot of you will be like, hey, if you go in the United Kingdom, all you do is to complain, all you do is to complain, we are suffering here, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, honey, sweetheart, if you come here and you do the work, you are going to complain more than us. Some of us are going through what we call a exhaustive stage of stress. The basic pay is not enough to cater for yourself and to cater for your family. A lot of nurses are going out of their way to do extra job. Some are doing bank, some are doing agency, some nurses even work five days, which if you ask me, working five days is emotionally exhausting. But they just have to do it because they want to meet the needs of yourself and the needs of their family. We save life. We are here at the point of birth. We are here at the point of death. We do a lot. We love humanity. But I think what the NHS is paying us is too small compared to what we do. I've had a lot of nurses that tutored me when I came into the United Kingdom. They mentored me. They were my practice assessors. Today, a lot of them have gotten their ILRO and some of them have totally resigned from nursing. They are no longer doing nursing. Some nurses are even working in other fields because they are tired. Other nurses are running from bedside because it's like it's emotionally draining. There is staff shortage. You do the work of sometimes two to three nurses and yet all you get is a clap. We are advocating for every one of us to try to participate if you deem it fit. It's entirely up to you. We are advocating for everyone to participate in this industrial strike action. Now, somebody will say, does this industrial strike action affect me? If you look at your screen from the Nursing and Midwifery Council, if you want to participate in the industrial strike action, you are permitted to, as long as you abide within the code and the conduct of practice. Remember, even if we are to participate in this industrial strike action, our priority is our patient's life. Our priority is our patient's safety. As long as you do it within the code and ethics of our profession, then it is absolutely fine. For those of us who have been receiving emails from our unions, please vote wisely. Everything, read, your, read the information they are sending you and try to vote wisely. Now, what is this agenda for pay rise? For a band five, it's going from two on um, twenty five thousand six hundred and fifty five pounds, as you can see on the screen, to twenty seven thousand zero fifty five pounds. If you ask me, this is small, but I think the, the starting point of band five is even higher than the rest. For a band six, it's going from thirty two thousand three hundred and six to thirty three thousand seven hundred and six. This is not much at all, to be honest. This is peanuts if you ask me so please 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 read your letters and vote wisely guys your so guys we have what and we have had enough claps i appreciate all the claps we all appreciate all the claps but guys clapping do not pay the bill order for your rocn t-shirt guys it is massively free this is my own and we are advocating for pay sorry we are advocating for fair pay for nurses safe staffing and safe lives so please order for your nursing t-shirts is your choice entirely um uh, if you are a nurse you should have received a letter from your union so please vote wisely and if you feel like participating in the industrial strike assure it doesn't affect you at all because we are all sticking to the nmc code of conduct it's entirely up to you if you want to participate in the industrial strike action because guys enough is enough not everybody can relocate to australia not everybody can relocate to canada because sometimes if you if you have kids matured kids like you have kids of 12 years eight years relocating them 
from one country to another sometimes it's, me it's not really mentally okay for the kids if you know what i mean so please order for your arocn t-shirt reply to the letters the letters you are receiving please read them vote wisely and let's all take nothing to a new level of increase in pay all right guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe to this channel please like this video and please don't forget to share i'll see you in my next video and until i see you again keep doing the good work nothing is our calling and we'll take nothing to a greater height